hey, 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 you, it's really wonderful, ASMR, and we're gonna just be reading this a little bit of this book called, can you guess, can you guess, star, 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 where is it, where is it, oh, actually it doesn't have, it doesn't have the title, that's interesting, it doesn't have the title on the, like this cover, but it does have it on here, so it's over here, can you zoom in please, zoom in, okay, it seems like it doesn't want to zoom in over here, yeah well you can take my word for it that it says star girl right there uh, this is a new york times bestseller by jerry spinelli so let's begin i've never read this book um, until just a few minutes ago just because I read like a few like maybe one or two chapters two or three but yeah I'll just like pick up stuff here and there and just like do some like whoosh, 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 whoosh. okay work you by necktie when I was little my uncle Pete had a necktie with a porcupine painted on it I thought that necktie was just about the neatest thing in the world. Uncle Pete would stand patiently before me while I ran my fingers over the silky surface, half expecting to be stuck by one of the pills, the quills. Stuck by one of the quills. Once, he let me wear it. I kept looking for one of my own, but I could never find one. I was 12 when we moved from Pennsylvania to Arizona. When Uncle Pete came to say goodbye, he was wearing the tie. I thought he did so to give me one last look at it, and I was grateful. But then, with a dramatic flourish, a dramatic flourish, he whipped off the tie and draped it around my neck. It's yours, he said, going away present. I love that porcupine tie so much that I wanted, I decided to start a collection. Two years after we settled in Arizona, the number of ties in my collection was still one. Where do you find a porcupine necktie in Mika, Arizona? Or anywhere else for that matter? On my 14th birthday, I read about myself in the local newspaper. The family section ran a familiar, a regular feature about kids on their birthdays. And my mother had called in some information, some info. The last sentence read, read, the last sentence read, as a hobby, Lee Borlock collects porcupine neckties. Several days later, coming from home from school, I found a plastic bag on our front step. Inside was a gift wrapped package tied with a yellow ribbon. The tag said, happy birthday. I opened the package. It was a porcupine necktie. Two porcupines were tossing darts with their quilts while a third was picking its teeth. I inspected the box, the tag, the paper. Nowhere could I find the giver's name. I asked my parents. I asked my friends. I called my Uncle Pete. Everyone denied knowing anything about it. At the time, I simply considered the episode a mystery. Mystery, mystery, mystery. It did not occur to me that I was being watched. We were all being watched. Okay, that's the end of the, I guess, the first two pages. Two pages. And that was. If you want me to continue reading, I'll like, 
and you find it like sort of sort of relaxing at least then please let me know and um thank you so much for for listening how do you say i was thinking of a tagline to end off but i don't know what to say yeah mm. i'm just really yeah um appreciative that mm, you didn't care um and i think it's pretty cool just that we can all share like cool funny things that we enjoy and have like this sort of shared space Like, it feels a little bit magical sometimes. Even in this, even in these dark times where everything seems sometimes like pretty gloomy or very mundane, but I'm glad that like the ASMR community is mostly, it's mostly, mostly like very chill and relatively non toxic. But please beware, beware of the stranger danger, stranger danger. Yep, always. If someone's like asking you for like personal information, don't, do not, do not, do not give it to them. They're like sus, they're really sus. Don't be sus and block, block all those sussy people. talk to the hands bye that's when i was younger i, I would say that to, sometimes i would say that to my brother as a rude sort of like way to something or i, I don't actually i'm just guessing because sometimes i do have false memories i don't know okay enjoy i'm trying to think of what to say Usually it's like that with my brain because of the concussion. Uh, but For me, then sk, 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 sk. I like f more. F f f f f uh, which sound, which trigger words are your favorite? What sounds do you enjoy most or find most tingly? Most tingly. Okay, bye. Toodles. <laughs>